What I want to show you is how to edit each one manually in a couple of different ways because sometimes that macro pitch adjustment just doesn't get it right. It might get everything close but you might still need to go in and adjust a little bit further. An important tool to have is your ability to be able to hear pitch. No matter what Melodyne tells you or what the plugin may look like, you always need to trust your ears because at the end of the day, that's how you know the song sounds right or not. Or when people are listening to the song that you've mixed, that's the important thing, what it sounds like. It will help you a great deal if you have a good ear for pitch. Always trust your ears. So if we go to my toolbar and go to my pitch tool, which is the second one in here, this allows me to pick up any note and drag it up or down. And we can hear Melodyne plays back a synthesized kind of note. So the important thing to watch here is not necessarily the center of the blob, but the center of where the peak of the pitch variance is roughly. That would be a good idea to give you. If you get that middle line in the middle of your uh, note value, semitone value, that should line it up pretty, pretty straight. Now again, these values aren't too bad. The singer sung it, sung it pretty good. Also, another quick way to use this is to double click on any of the values and it will bring the note to the nearest semitone value. We can also drastically change the vocal performance. Now, while that might necessarily sound natural, you can hear how much of a powerful tool Melodyne is. I'll just undo those drastic changes there. <laughs> 